Hello everyone, Tim again, timscomputerfix.net. Right in the middle of this i9-9960X build here with the Asus Tough 299 Mark I motherboard. Really nice motherboard here. Uh, but I want to talk a little bit about uh, during this install, I've got you know the processors in place, I've got the, our heat sink, and fans in place there. I've got all eight gigs or eight sticks of RAM in here equaling 128 gigs. I get the power supply installed. And I'm to the point now um, to where I want to talk a little bit about these uh, PCI Express slots. There's two of them here. Actually, there's three, but we're going to talk about these two. You know, so basically like with just about all motherboards, you know, you have a 16 slot here and, and a 16-8 slot here. And a lot of times when you install a video card into this first PCI Express slot, um, that is registered as 16 times and will run at 16x. A lot of times with other motherboards too, if you install just one card into the second slot, that does not run at 16x, it actually only runs at 8x. With this motherboard, if you have a 44 lane processor, which we do have here, the, the 9960X i9, you will get a 16x speed off of this second PCI Express slot if you put one card there alone. Um, any other 16 lane or 28 lane processors, you, will, you won't get 16 here you, you, you'll get eight I like that because now I have an option because when I put my video card up here in slot number one it's a thick card dual slot card and it's going to butt right up against the fans here and some of the um, LED lights that kind of show through here are going to be completely blocked by the video card and the heat sink so what I think and also We'll talk about this fan here in a minute. It blocks this fan. I'll tell you the importance of that fan here in a minute. <laughs> I want to really, I think it'd be good if I can put the video card in the second slot. I'll still get 16x speeds because of my chip. That's a dual slot card. So that's going to leave me a lot of room right in here to still show off some of my LEDs or show off some of my case a little better and it doesn't it won't be so cramped up against the heat sink either. I'm glad I had that option. <clears throat> and in doing so, I'll have I'll be able to still get to my front panel headers and my front panel stuff which I'll get to that here in one second. But another thing that's going to do by putting the video card down here is to free up this fan or uh, give airflow to this fan and what this fan does I'll show you here okay so right underneath this cover here I have a NVMe drive that installs right under there and this acts as the heat sink to it you peel off you peel off the backing and, and it goes on there and it acts as a type of heat sink for that and also right here this fan that you see right here that draws air up and through and out. So it pulls air in over that NVMe this here. So my video, so that's important to keep that open. And my video card is going to be sitting generally in this area here. So, but before I put that video card in there, let's talk a little bit about uh the front panel headers for this case. I'm sure you guys have seen, if you haven't, but I'm going to show you that these uh, motherboards now are coming with these little adapters and they're, they're uh, pre-labeled and it makes it a lot easier to hook up your front panel headers. So instead of having to put them on individually down here where your front panel headers are, you can first install them onto this. Get them properly and put them put in the right place. It's easier to see, easier to do. If you have fat fingers, it makes your job a lot easier. And then you can simply 
install this or push this down onto the headers on the motherboard. Like so. So that makes life a lot easier using that little method there. A lot of motherboards have those nowadays. But what I want to install now for this motherboard, before I put the video card in where I won't have room here, I got my HD audio connected and um, I need to hook in my USB 3's and my USB 3 header is right here. I want to install my Optane M.2 here first because it is a vertical uh, M.2 solution here. So I'm going to show you guys how we put the vertical Optane M.2 on this Asus Tuft X299 board. This board comes with a, we'll call it a vertical bracket for your M.2 and they give you this little piece here that comes with it so we're just going to take on the inside on the inside where your M.2 is going to go we'll push that through that little slot one of these slots see there and then we'll give it a twist We'll twist this way. Basically, what that does is that places puts this in position to lock down onto the M.2. So this is a little clip they give you that you just insert here and twist, and you see what it looks like there on the back. And we'll position our bracket. Get them lined up over the holes. Then we have a couple of very small screws. Let's see if I can get that just right. Magnets. No. There's that one, I think. Right down here. All right. There's the other one. Snug it down in a little bit. And then we're going to take our, in this case, we've got a 16 gig Optane memory here. There we go. Make sure we got it in the correct orientation. There we go. I heard a little snap click there. And as you can see, it's resting up against that plastic piece that was inserted into the bracket. So now we just want to take the snap here, flip it over, and line it up, get it in the hole like that, push it in, and there. Now our vertical M.2 is installed, and it's solid. See, I wanted to do that, and now I can get my USB 3 to go down in here. And we'll get that connected. And then we'll be able to install our video card in this second slot, which is going to come all the way to about down to here. It's really going to be a tight, a tight fit here. So I won't be able to do any of this after this card's installed since I'm going that route. And we just snapped our USBs right into place, USB 3. And everything's out of the way. And actually everything looks Pretty, pretty tidy, pretty tidy. Now we can insert our video card into that slot. Let's go ahead and drop our card into place. There we go. But you see my point here is now since my card is in that slot, I don't really have any room if I need to plug anything else in down there, which I don't. Um, and it's out of the way of my vertical M.2 there. 
And uh, my fan is still wide open here on this side. Very nice. And um, so I got this part of the board um, showing, which I can go ahead and show you what we can do with that. Nope. That can go there. And this can go here. But you can see how now how that gives that a really clean look. That's going to look really nice. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you head right down below here, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome. I have much more computer repair videos coming your way. There's also a bell you can click for to get notifications for my videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. And as usual, everyone, until next time, see you soon.